In this video, I'm going to show how you can use uh, shared styles in uh, your projects. So shared styles are very, very useful because um, you can uh, set the, them up uh, for uh, multiple uh, reasons, one of which uh, can be uh, a color. So you can select the primary, secondary, and uh, other colors that you're going to use throughout your project. In this case, we selected this uh, primary one. And uh, as you can see, I attributed this uh, color throughout uh, all uh, the screens in my project. And uh, if I change them uh, right here, and uh, let's say that I'm gonna change the primary color to an orange, and uh, let me update this. As you can see, now all the uh, major details are going to be in uh, orange and uh, all the ones that are uh, selected uh, and associated with this uh, color. So how we can do this? This is pretty easy. So you can simply create an artboard and um, add a shape. Let's say this example, we're gonna stick to the rectangle. And uh, once I have the shape, I can just uh, add a color or a whatever, I'm going to add a gradient. Then I'm going to select the rectangle. So beware that uh, I'm not selecting the artboard, but I'm selecting the rectangle inside. And uh, you simply have to go under the layer and uh, create a shared style. So now this uh, uh, shared style has been uh, selected and uh, I can rename it here. So I'm just gonna go and use a proper gradient as the name. And uh, as you can see, I now have it uh, in uh, my shared layer styles. So there's a primary, the secondary, and now there's the proper gradient. And uh, I can also organize the layer styles uh, directly here. So let's say that, for example, I want to change the name of this, I can just double click on it and uh, same for all the others. And uh, I can just uh, um, organize them directly from here. Once uh, you're good, you can simply click on done. And uh, if, I, if I'm uh, using this uh, in uh, all my buttons, uh, symbols, for example, I can just click on uh, the symbol uh, background and uh, I can select proper gradient. And if I go back into my dashboard kit, um, you can see that uh, all the call to actions buttons has been uh, um, changed. So that now I having this, uh, this shared style. And uh, of course I can also go, for example, here in the logo and um, I can simply uh, select it from the drop down menu, go on proper gradient. And uh, whenever I'm going to change the uh, the gradient, or uh, I can make it uh, into another gradient, for example, this red one. Um, everything should be updated directly. Oh, I, I forgot to um, reload this. So this is very important. Once you make a change in here, so let's do this again. Go and make a change. And uh, there is these uh, two refresh arrows, which you need to click in order to make the uh, update, uh, uh, just to make it up update. And um, here we go. So I hope this was uh, useful. This was a, um, a very important discovery that uh, I made and uh, I'm using it uh, uh, very often in uh, projects with uh, clients as well as uh, my UI kits from time to time. So I hope this was useful. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, drop me a comment below and uh, I'll get back to you.